Hello everybody on Facebook. Hey, you get DS1 for DS1.live, radio station and green screen broadcasting studio in Richmond, Indiana. I hope you like my new set. Uh, we got this built this week. Uh, uh, we want to also, I want to let everybody know that we have a new partner in with the broadcasting. He does all my video editing. It's Spotlight Productions. So they are now involved totally with DS1.Live uh, Broadcasting Studio. So now we have a production team in, in, in line. I would like to talk to you today that there is uh, that we're trying to have a fundraiser uh, to come up with some uh, more equipment and stuff for the studio. Um, if you feel led to give, you can actually give on my PayPal on my Facebook page. Uh, it's down through there somewhere in the lineup. I'll post it again at the top. Any donations from a dollar up is is you know well needed. <coughs> <clears throat> it takes money to keep the broadcasting going. This, this take for cent, for instance, this particular scene that we're in right now. It took me six and a half hours to build this scene. Uh, if you look right here, it's got uh, my DJ name, ministries, online broadcasting, and the phone number. Whoa, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, anyway, you know that this is a brand new desk uh, that or pulpit that was made. Uh, this pulpit was made for the broadcasting studio by my scene builder, which is Spotlight Productions. So now there is two of us, you know, and there it's the, uh, running behind the scenes. So we got Spotlight Productions and DS1 Live Broadcasting, and then we also have DS1 Live Radio Station on the net. So if you go to ds1.live, type it into your browser, it'll pull up my radio station. I've got it off right now due to maintenance. We've been maintenance the studio for the last three days. Uh, we came in here yesterday, I believe, at, uh, I think it was right around uh, 9 o'clock a.m. in the afternoon. We walked out of here at 5 o'clock in the morning. Trying to clean up wires, uh, making more space, making it so we can do bigger things in here. Um, get ready for some more equipment and to, uh, you know, to really get this thing going. Uh, I would like to thank all my sponsors, uh, Kurt Neese, uh, Chris Monahan, uh, uh, Ron Chappelle, Carlos King. I'd like to thank all you guys for being my main supporters. And uh, Henry Butler, um, he's also one of our main supporters. And uh, Trevor Dishman. And uh, we got quite a few other people out there that, that are participating within the broadcasting. Um, this broadcasting it pretty much runs 9 a.m. till 6 p.m., but, you know, if it's a ministry or something, you want to get it out, I'll be glad to do that. Um, I want to talk to you guys today about something that has to do with the broadcasting and with the way that I handle the funds. Why we ask for donations, you know, doing just green screen uh, artist and music is worth $5,000 everywhere else in the world. And to do uh, full content in a music video and things like that's worth ten thousand to uh, eleven thousand. You know, I know what these things are worth, but you know what? When God came into my life and told me to build this, there's one thing He said to make, and He made it very plain: was this: keep it about the kingdom first. Keep it, about, keep it about the kingdom and all other things will be added onto it. So that's why we don't charge big money for you to come in here and do a ministry broadcast or a music video or an advertisement of any sort. Um, it's not really about the money, you know. Uh, we do, you know, we are financially strapped, you know, and things like that. Any donation that comes in would be well appreciated. Um, it, it'll help keep uh, keep the business going and, and you know, always updating and upgrading 
add more cameras, things like that. You know, you grow. Growth is everything. And I would like to let you guys know, uh, Chris Monahan said that if anybody has any questions about how I install uh, broadcasting equipment in churches, to give him a call at Gateway Church. Uh, I installed the uh, broadcasting equipment that they have in their church so that they can broadcast like what I'm doing. Somebody asked me, they texted me on Facebook one day, and they said, uh, why are you cutting your own throat? And I said, I don't get it. What do you mean? What do you mean, why am I cutting my own throat? Well, you're telling everybody how to do what you're doing. So you're, you know, cutting business down, you know, and this and that. And you know what? My reply to him was this. We are called to go to the nations with the gospel. We're not called to stand inside this little box or to stay behind this pulpit for ever and ever and ever in a day and never get out from behind it. It's okay to have a building and have your followers meet you in your building for fellowship and, and to learn the word and to be refreshed and all those good things, you know, that going to a building is for. If some of you are kind of wondering, why am I calling it a building? Because that is a building. It's not the church. The church is the people. It ain't a building. It ain't a place. It ain't a gathering place. The church is every one of you. So every person in this entire world, whether they want to be or not, is part of the body. Um, so, you know, if you have a ministry and you want to reach the nations, now this is what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about nothing petty. I'm not talking about let's go to Brookville or let's go to Kentucky or, you know, let's, let's go here, let's go there. I'm talking reach the world. Um, you know, this is the first time I've really came out with, you know, exactly what DS1.Live broadcasting is about. We're ma mainly about ministry, ministry broadcasting. So if you have a word that you would like to put out there, you know, you never know what word that you can put out there that's going to cause somebody to get saved, somebody to find Jesus, Somebody to know who he is. Somebody to have hope, promise, and peace, and love. So that's basically what DS1.Live broadcasting is about. Is for every one of you that's a pastor, teacher, prophet, evangelist, um, ministries all over, whatever. You may have a couple hundred thousand, whatever, followers. Well, why not add my couple hundred thousand to yours. If I'm reaching every country in the world, why not add it to your stuff and go even further with it? You know, that's the problem that I think a lot of people are, are afraid of this, what I have. Because you're afraid to get in front of the camera to stand up here and be broadcast all over the, U, the world. My friends, you need to get out of that frayed box. You know, God doesn't promote fear. And everything that's done here is done of God. I mean, you know, it's ministries that go out of here. So, you know, if you've got a ministry and let's say you're in California or Texas or Oregon or New York or uh, Florida or, you know, a couple of three or three states over or a couple of three or four counties over, you know, you can... You can give me a call, right down there is the number. You can give me a call and uh, we can get set up to make a Facebook uh, video chat. And I can put you full screen in that video and put, you on a, and put you in here. And broadcast your ministry from where you are. So you don't have to come here in order to do a ministry because 
you know, that I, I've got so many ways of I can do it. I can do it. I can broadcast you from where you are. If you put a green screen up behind you and put your some good lighting up around that, I can put you in this studio behind any scene that I have and put you in that scene and you can do a broadcast from there. So I'm talking right now to the people and the pastors and the churches in Richmond, in Richmond and the, and the surrounding towns. If you would like to, to have part of your church as a background in here, I can do that. I do go on site uh, pictures and videos. Um, I travel all over to get different backgrounds to use here at the broadcasting studio. Um, you know, this thing is so unlimited. I mean, you know, you can't put a lid on this. You can't, there's no stopping point. There's no, there's no, well, we can't go any further than this. You know, you think to the stars and that's what we can do. Okay. I, I want you to think big, but my ministry is this. This is my ministry. My ministry is to make your ministry go to the nations. So that's my job that God has given me. I'm going to give you kind of an idea about how this began. Nine months ago, God came to me in a dream, and he said, If you build it, they will come. You know, I fought with that for about a month. You know, build, 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 what, what, you know? So I got out in my backyard and I went to walking around, you know, and I started praying. I said, okay, God, I know this is you, but build what? Okay, you know, everybody knows me, you know, that I was damaged in the military. I had a mortar round blow up two feet from my head. A 500-pound steel hatch smacked me in the head, knocked my forehead into the 50 caliber in front of me. It hit me in the neck, shoulder, and lower spine. So I have TBI, traumatic brain injury, a seizure disorder controlled with medicine. I've had winging of the scapula, and I've had winging of the scapula surgery. Um, I've got two titanium hips done both sides. I went blind for nine and a half months. I lost my ability to read and write. But yet God, <laughs> but yet God put all this in place. So when he said to me, you build it, they'll come. And when I said to him, okay, God, I know that you build what? So here's what happened. The next night I had a dream and everything that's in this studio right now is in here. And I'm a master at it. I mean, I'm really good. I mean, look at these scenes. I, I built every bit of it. Every bit of it you see is a video. In this video, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven video overlays. Now, can you do that on a cell phone? Uh, can you can you broadcast on Facebook and other places like that, <laughs> like this? I mean, you know, really get some real good videos that catches people's eyes and catches their attention and holds it for longer than just a few seconds. So I want to let everyone know that I work off of donations only when it comes to this, when it comes to ministry. I have a PayPal account on my Facebook page. You can click on it. It'll take you right straight there. If you feel like donating, please, we need the money to keep going. Even if you ain't got money, don't let that stop you from doing a ministry. Don't let that be a hindrance. Don't let Satan get in your head and say, well, this ain't worth nothing. This ain't going to do nothing. I know how many followers I got, and I know that it's over 100,000, and I'm at 5,000 just on Facebook alone. I'm trying to get a business account built up to where I can have unlimited followers. 
But this is the kind of stuff that I can build, what you see behind me, in front of me. You know, you see this fancy glass uh, pulpit that I'm behind? I'm behind my wooden pulpit, actually. I'm not even, that thing ain't even real. My uh, scene director uh, that edits my scenes built that for me. Which he's going to build me some fancy desks, uh, some small ones, some bigger ones, you know, to get enough to get three or four people behind, one to get two behind, and one to get one behind. So, you know, green screen work. Now, if you want to do green screen, I also teach that. So I teach green screen. I teach radio broadcasting. I teach uh, green screen broadcasting. And show people how to do it. I'm encouraging your church to get involved in this broadcasting thing. Uh, all you need is a, a good tower computer with some HDMI input cards. A couple of Canon Rebels, buddy, and you're ready to go. You got one camera that'll zoom in up on the pulpit. You got another camera that zooms in up on the whole stage. That's the way I set up uh, Chris Monahan's church at Gateway. And it turns out really well. Other than it's a little jumpy because of the internet. But they're, they're going to get that fixed. It isn't the program or the computer or the cameras. It's the internet that causes those things to happen. So you got to have pretty good internet to do this. And uh, if you want to do a broadcast from where you are, if you can get a green screen behind you, which is this color here, you know, or that color of my emblem right down there at the corner of the screen, that's the color green you need. Put you up some correct lighting, and then you can put your camera, fix it to where it's got you, just the green screen and you, and whatever you want to be in front of you and I can put you in any scene that you can dream up. Would you like Mount Calvary behind you? Would you like a scene like this? Would you like to be out in the woods? Would you like to stand a bunch of horses? How about on a beach with the ocean roaring behind you? Um, what? You think it, I can build it. So if you can dream it, I can build it. And don't think down here don't think right here. Think up here. Think big. Think high. Think, I, you know, I, there was a pastor that told me this, and I believe it. We need to get rid of our ways, and we need to get rid of our name, and we need to get rid of all of our stuff, and we need to take on Jesus. Take on him. Take on who he is. Take on his identity. Forget our identity and take on his identity. Be more like Christ. So, you know, I'm going to say this. You know, some of you might be offended and some of you might not. You might say, hmm, maybe this guy's serious, which I am about this business. Why don't you get outside your box? You know, you're, you've been in a box way too long. Get in the boat. And if the boat starts to sink, get on the water. You know what I mean? Think big. Speak things into existence. Think positive thoughts. Never think, why well, I can't do, I can't do, I can't do. That's, that's a lie from hell. You can do anything through Christ who strengthens you. You can. If somebody like me <laughs> can do all this and bring this before you and... Be willing to do it practically for nothing when I know what this is worth. I mean, you know, you go to a TV station, it's going to cost you a couple, two or three, four thousand dollars. If you're an artist and you want to just use my green screen, I could charge you five, five thousand dollars. If you want full content, I could charge you a ten thousand dollars to eleven. But if I do secular music and stuff like that, it's uh, 800 and 400. 800 for the big package, 400 for the little one. You know, before I would say this. Anybody that's out there that's listening and watching and catch this video later on, here's what I suggest to you. 
instead of judging me and judging what I'm doing because of my prices and this and that and the other, why don't you come see what I can do? Won't you come see my studio and let me let you see what I can do? You know, that will tell everything right there, you know. We can sit and talk about it online and on the phone and everything you want to and, you know, and you still not be convinced. So I suggest this. I suggest you come and see me. Give me a call. Right down there is the number. Give me a call. 765-977-7082. My phone line is open Monday. Uh, Monday through Sunday from uh, I would say 9 a.m. till probably 6 p.m. Unless it's really urgent, you know, we'll we'll take whatever. But you know, it's I have a thing here that's really worth checking out and kind of getting out there and you know and really reaching the world with your ministry and the message and God's love and his blessings and his power you know you might never know you know if one person gets saved throughout this crusade on this what I'm doing if one person gets saved it's worth the whole thing <laughs> okay I'd like to pray us out Dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, I just thank you for this ministry, Father. I thank you that you would allow me to do this in your name. Lord God, I, I ask that you keep in it, stay in it, be the head of it, that I just want to be your, your worker, Lord. I want to be your, your person to make it all happen for you, Lord God, to help people get saved. My prayer is this. My prayer is that all churches forget your denominations, forget your agendas, forget your, your appointments, your, your rules and regulations and all this bullcrap. And let's all come together as one church for one simple cause to get the word to the nations and to see people saved in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. That's the goal. That's the goal in this. That's what I want more than anything in the world, is to share what I have here with you. I told Trevor Ditchman once, I said, man, I, I've got a vision that my driveway is going to be lined up with cars all the way packed, and pastors stand in line waiting to do a broadcast. That, I'm still hope, praying for that. I want all you pastors, all the, all the different buildings and places all around to get involved. Put your best foot forward. I've heard lots of people talk. All work need to get in the street, so... We need to go after the lost. Uh, we need to go to this country. We need to go to that country. We need to go. We need to go. And they never do nothing but stand behind those four walls. And here I have something that you just got to maybe go on a phone call or come down the street here in Richmond, Indiana, pull in my driveway, come in here, stand right here, do a teaching, present the word. Pick a background. You want to do one once a day? I can do it. You want to do one once a week? I can do it. You want to do one once a month? I can do it. Three times a month, four, five, you know, whatever you want to do. You know, it's the, 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 the building is open, so I encourage you today to take part to help this ministry grow. What's it going to hurt? <laughs> I mean, you know, what I've got here is evidently it's, uh, there's a lot of people who love the idea because it's working. And I'm definitely reaching the nations. It ain't just around here. It ain't just around the United States. <coughs> God bless each and every one of you and thank you for listening. 
I want to thank all my sponsors. I want to thank uh, Spotlight Productions for helping me with my videos. Uh, and I definitely want to thank Jesus for allowing this to be. So until next time, God bless you guys and have a wonderful day.